The Olympics can create golden moments even after the Games are over. And today, Canada's Rosie McLennan made her first public appearance back home after winning gold in London. The trampolinist returned to the health club where, as recently as a few weeks ago, she trained in anonymity. I chatted with her after the celebration. This is what life is like these days for McLennan. The overnight transformation from unknown athlete to Olympic champion. <laughs> to the delight of fellow members of the Toronto Athletic Club. All of a sudden, just overnight, everybody knows who you are. Hey, are we check. good? You double check. Okay. I think it's, I think Thank, it's you. Thank you. Who's next? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Peter Cole. Good job. You didn't kill it. Are, are it, was still... it was that t-shirt. Oh, it's on my, it was on my wall. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. What was this like today? Uh, it was unbelievable. I mean, even before, a lot of the members would come up and ask me how training was going, and maybe they didn't really know why I was doing these weird jumps onto boxes, but uh, coming home and seeing the amount of support that uh, myself and all the other Canadian athletes have is has been really a good experience. What's the biggest surprise being back in Canada after the gold medal? Um, I think just a lot of like the opportunities that have come up and a uh, real chance to, I guess, share the experience with so many people. They all want to hear your story. They all want to hear how you got there and what challenges you went through. So being able to share that. And, and given that you're in a sport that not a lot of people really understand you know, how it works at a high level, yeah. is that something you're, you're dealing with now, is trying to explain to people why what you did is, is an Olympic sport and an Olympic uh, achievement? I'm a little bit. I mean, since it's a fairly new Olympic sport, a lot of people still don't quite know what's going on. They ask, oh, you, so you jump up and down a little bit. But uh, I think it'll help provide some more exposure. I mean, Karen Coburn was amazing in being able to do that in previous games. And to be able to continue doing that going forward, is, it, I think it'll be great, really good for our sport. So has your life changed in terms of getting great seats at the restaurant <laughs> or getting into shows, uh, anything like that? Um, well, I've only been home for a few days, but uh, I get to throw the opening pitch at the Jays game tomorrow, so that's an experience Are I would never have had. Oh, yeah, I can't throw for anything, so <laughs> um, I don't know if they'll expect anything, but uh, um, a few things like that, but uh, I've only been home since Monday, so. Now, you came here originally today was supposed to be a workout day. It was. I was supposed to get back in the gym and get, start getting back to training again. And so when uh, clearly you're not in doing an intense workout now, but when will you be able to get back in, into the kind of mode you need to, to, to train properly? Um, well, because we don't have any international competitions until the new year, we do actually have a downtime right now. Uh, so I'm hoping to be able to get back into the training trampoline gym a couple times a week uh, starting next week uh, after having two weeks off and then working out a little bit more uh, starting, well, today, later today and then uh, into next week. <laughs>